Okay, so I'm stuck in Denver Airport. I have flown so many times this year. I thought it was a good time to talk about flying with my service dog. Um, okay, there's a couple things you need to know. One, don't stress out. Um, two, make sure that your animal was prepped. I mean, that's the biggest thing is uh, getting food, you know, food consumption down the day prior and also making sure that um you know the airlines knows of any everything you have your paperwork together and so on and so forth um, once you hit security it's pretty fast if you have an animal um and your dog is really good on demands you fly through security i mean fly through it okay um uh, you know once you get onto the plane um, that's where really the biggest, the biggest uh, issue is, is, and that's, um, you know, just the, Daisy has to, she had to sit right at my feet for over the entire time, and, uh, you know, there's not much space there, it's, uh, you know, I, you know, for the average person, they put their book back there, and they, they, oh, hold on, sorry about that, my wife was calling, so, um, anyway, Back to what I was saying, uh, on flight, that's usually the hardest thing. And um, your dog just has to be very, very disciplined. Needs to be able to sit there for however long your flight is. Um, I never have any issues with that. Um, I've got up and I've taken mine to uh, inside the airport bathroom, or not the airport, the uh, airplane bathroom. It's tight, but it can be done. Um, I have a 63 pound German Shepherd and she fits just fine. Um, in addition to that, I, uh, in addition to that, um, there's, uh, animal relief areas, and you can use them, um, I always hit them. It took me about a year to start getting Daisy using them, but she's adjusted well. She knows exactly what to do. Um, yeah. The security, you don't go, when you go through security, you only go through the metal detector and then you get your hand swapped. Um, you don't go through the machine, like the nude photographer machine. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, just have your paperwork ready. The most important thing is to notify the airline ahead of time and um, to make sure that your dog's just very, very disciplined. So if you have any questions, let me know. All right, so it's 1.17 a.m. and we are loaded up and headed back home. Hopefully um, we have no delays and everything goes nice and soon. Here, let me get some light on. There we go, kinda a little bit better. Anyways, hopefully it uh, goes smooth. Daisy's getting her some relaxed time in. She knows the drill, it's gonna be a long ride. Um, filling up the rental right now. So, it's going to be, supposed to be home by like 11 my time, so, let's see if it's on time, on schedule. So, get some shots along the way. Here we go. Going out for me. Alright, you see, I gotta go. Alright, so I'm at Denver Airport again, like I said um, a little bit earlier. Um, this is my second delay in a round trip trip, so I thought I'd use it as a talking point. Um, delays are very, very prevalent. Um, of course, we try to avoid them, but it's uh, unavoidable. So, um, sorry about that. Here's a something I thought was interesting to talk about um, when you when you're sitting at the airport um, especially when you're delayed you know you'll have uh, 
you'll have all these kids when they play, right? And, hold on. Anyways, you'll have all these kids wanting to play with the dogs. What I found, the best option is to come over here to like a shut down gate, have you a cup of coffee, get out of everybody's way, and then you don't have kids jumping up on you. Some adults jump up on you. You know, just, uh, just you have general um, privacy, I would say. Peace, privacy, I don't know. People leave you alone when you're tucked up in a corner. So, I'm hoping to get on this next flight. Um, this delay was only an hour and a half. Last delay, I think it was like, I don't know, 12 hours or something insane. So we got hit with a snowstorm here in Denver, and um, it slowed us down, I guess. I don't know, the runways are pretty bad. So, anyways, um, see you guys when we land, or when we board something. I think I get first class seating this time. So that'll be cool. Um, it's been a while since I've sat like that. Yeah, and we're at the gate. Delayed. Kicking back. Kicking back. Delayed more. We should stay. Don't call. Don't call. If you're unable to refer to the room, you can just like a tenant, I would not be happy to find you.